what you're passionate about. Hustle means living your life on purpose. Hustle means doing what is necessary to be able to live your life on purpose. So the hustle is obviously that we're up till 3 a.m. because we're answering messages and making sales and hustling. You know, guess what most people think hustle means. But it's also like we could have gone to bed before that and we didn't want to. There's no rule that says we have, like you just you have to, right? It's so fun. Hustle is that we went out to an amazing dinner last night and everybody's literally sitting there on their phones because they're answering their clients and making sales, right? But hustle is also having espresso martinis in the afternoon or going to Brickham Yoga class at 6 a.m. or walking down the beach today and then going up the stairs in Miami and then having an amazing brunch or sitting out by the pool. The hustle is all of it, right? Like even if I did, even if we, we were talking about going to the movies, even if we went to the movies, that's part of the hustle because it's gonna unleash creative flow. So people have to understand that hustle just means living your life on purpose and it means being passion driven. And ideally, like how to know you're in alignment and doing the business that you should be doing is there's really no lines between work and play. It's the same thing. Like right now, who's going to define right now? Are we working right now, guys? We're always working. Yes. Yeah? Are we playing right now? Okay. We're having unreasonable amounts of fun right now. Yes. <laughs> As I would say to Alyssa, I was like, when she goes home, I'm like, did you have fun? She goes, yeah, I've gone too much fun. She's going, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Not again, having too much fun. And that's kind of like what this is, right? Mm -hmm. But it's work. Cheers. cheers to the hustle and cheers to each of you. Yeah. You guys are doing an amazing job. Hustling in the hustle house. Thanks, Kat. We're just taking a little walk to get some cooler for the espresso martinis. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. This is what you call hustling in the hustle house. I've got my red wine. I've got my protein balls or bliss balls which are beautiful. And we're just on our way, or the cat's on our way to go and get some espresso martinis. And we're in the full-time hustler house. So probably, um, I think it was end of last year, just looking for that right person to understand me. Um, the way cat comes across is pretty pretty patient in, in, I suppose that's a bit unbelievable because she is very, um, very forward and, and upfront, but just the way she sort of treated, treated me, I suppose, and, and um, responded to me, just made me feel really, really comfortable. And I sort of thought, my God, I've got so much going on, and I know I'm not alone with that. Like everyone has so much going on, everyone has a story. This one was about me and what I needed, having cat and just the way because there are other people that could help and there are other people that can help that yeah just that connection with cat and I thought so I've just been doing a couple of little courses and dabbling away and tapping away and and then all of a sudden it's like yeah I'm, I'm ready for this I'm ready to up level and really get my message out there so what I'm doing at the moment is rich hot empire and that's a six week one-on-one -on -one course and then um, yeah, been at the Hustle House. So that's three nights living in Cat's house, which is where we are, which is beautiful, which is a full-time Hustler House. And there's two other very inspirational women. I just am blown away by, by these women as well. Learning a hell of a lot. This is, I did my first live stream this morning. That blew me away. And uh, lots of videos and writing. I might have a glass of wine and might go and have a look at the pool. Over the past day and a half, we've done yeah. some yoga, yeah. we've done a pretty hardcore gym workout, and we've done a big walk on the beach. Yes. And, that's it. and we've really just blended everything together, like the stuff that's going to take care of your fitness as well as your health, as well as... And you do it to get I think what, um, um, what's been really awesome and for me to be a part of, even do. like for me who value self here, is anything. how much self-care goes into your hustle. Yeah, they sound nice. Right. They just so sound like very, you know, like it's, they don't even it's so infused like, in different aspects of like your day yeah. and, and who you are as a person you know, and how you know that that, um, you know, elevates your productivity yeah, so they, as well. So I think oh, like, that's been one of the most powerful things I think just being here over the past few days. Like, yes, there's been epic amounts of productivity and work that we've done 
but I've also probably worked out more um, than I you know, would at home because in like 36 hours, yeah, yeah. and also had fun, and also had fun, I've gone out, and had amazing conversations, yeah. and, you know, connected with not only but you, but like other, you know, two other incredible women who are just so epically inspiring yeah and we've just i don't know i've just been immersed in what's possible yeah and i think that's why anyone should uh, invest in themselves with whatever area of life they want to improve because when you do that you immerse yourself into the environment of what's possible for yourself hot Hot, happy and healthy is not about deprivation. Like, I mean, uh, let's be honest, we're drinking eight, espresso martinis in eight, the middle of the afternoon and oh, while, we're whilst, yeah, while yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. I am working on a couple of things at the moment. Um, I'm just finishing off a really cool blurb for my next book so I wrote one a couple of months ago when I put it on pre-order and it wasn't quite I don't know it was like 90% what I wanted but there was just something missing um, I think because I've been marketing my books as dark romance which they are um, but I have written a book now that's more skewed towards a psychological romance like think like girl on the train or uh, gone girl so I kind of needed to learn how to write a blurb for a different genre so they've got things in common for sure um, but the yeah it just wasn't doing it for me and I could tell that there was just something a little bit off about it um, and people were excited for it but people were getting more excited about the teasers that I had made and the the graphics that I had made they weren't as excited about the blurb and it's kind of because it said nothing about the actual story. So, just kind of sat down and read a whole bunch of blurbs from other psychological thrillers. Didn't really find any that I liked, but again, I kind of just took what I learned and then took all of the stuff that I do and just put it together. And I really like it now. Hang on a second. Someone just bought a VIP spot. Oh my god, how much is that here? 40 Yep. Alright. So I just need, I'm just gone for the sales gone. Woo! <laughs> Thank Sorry. you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> You're doing I want your... a George Clooney dance. Do you... <laughs> I don't know the George Clooney dance, I got the cat dance. That's not that cool. That's so fucking cool. You yeah. really like making money in the hustle house. It's all about. Yeah, so I'm just pay standing around like washing the dishes and making. Yeah. My, my PayPal balance is zero. Uh, my PayPal balance this morning was zero because I just move it out as soon as it goes in. But it was zero, and now it's like two and a half grand. Nice. What I've done in this course is I have cherry picked. I've basically gone through every message that I've gotten from the last six months from other authors and authors who are like you know, can you help me? My book's not selling really well. I'm not sure what to do. Should I switch to genre? Should I get a new pen name? So I've gone through and I've answered them all and I've made a video for every one of them. And I just, I just think that it can really help people. So, um, so that's what I've done. The really cool part was that I, I actually wrote a blog post yesterday, which was the first time that I've even mentioned the specifics of the course and I have like 85 messages. It was 77, but now it's 85 messages. Sitting in my Facebook inbox and people are just like begging for the course. I think because I have actually taken it from the feedback, from the questions that these people have asked me, so I'm literally just answering everything that you want to know and just putting it in like a digestible package, if you like. That's really exciting. I did another post this morning and I got more people talking to me. I've already had some VIPs sign up. So there's two different options for the course. There's a, uh, it's like a home study course, but you still get a live Facebook group for the six weeks and I'll be in there every day. And then the VIPs um, get 
one-on-one -on -one course with me as well. So there's only, there's not many places for that because obviously I have to spend time writing as well, like I'm writing my own books at the same time. Uh, okay, so I've been in the Hustle House for how many hours? I don't even think we've been here for 48 hours. So Maybe it's just 48 well, hours now. Here, like roughly 49 hours. Yeah, because I got I got here like the minute that I could get here. I was like, no, yeah, what I time can I arrive? Like, oh, okay. Yeah, and I was like sitting on the couch and I was prepared at about eight minutes before the hour <laughs> because up until eight minutes before the hour, I was running around like a banshee. Like, no. I put the wrong pillowcases on. I had to take all the pillowcases off <laughs> and I didn't even put them on. The cleaner put them on and then they're on their own. I got new pillows. And anyway, it was like a whole thing and I was placing your cards and your gift bags on your bed and everything and it was just like, everything was like, oh my God. And then I was ready at eight minutes before three so I sat on the couch and watched the door and then it got to three I'm like, where the fuck is she then? <laughs> and then you came at like nine plus three. And I was in the Uber eight minutes late going, I just missed eight minutes that I could have spent with Cal Laterzo, and I'm not very happy. I reckon I've slept probably six hours in total and I think that's being generous. Uh, but I feel really good. Uh, we've done so much stuff. I feel like I, oh, I've, I've made several thousand dollars today from the offer that we created on yesterday, yes, on Friday, so yesterday. Uh, got to dinner in this beautiful restaurant that Kat had taken us to and I just basically didn't interact with anyone for the whole dinner which was I felt really rude but everyone else was kind of hustling as well so it didn't matter um, yeah and I was getting these messages about this it was just like it was seriously just a blog post with a little offer on the bottom and you think how could it be that easy like surely there's more to it but because we had done all this other work on Friday to kind of drill down to the core of of what our offer was then when you actually put it into the world it's like bam there's like 1200 words blog post and all these people are like suddenly messaging you like screaming well, how can I buy your stuff so it's been an awesome experience so Kat makes you wake up at 4.45 on Friday yeah on the Friday yeah after I went to bed at Two. So I basically didn't sleep the first night, which, you know, whatever. Uh, we went to Bikram Yoga, which was really awesome, but really challenging. So if I was at home, I never would have tried it. I was excited to go, but there was, it, wasn't, it wasn't like, do you want to come to yoga? It was like, when we hustle, we go to yoga. <laughs> All the good food that we've eaten. So normally at home, I'm just eating a lot of carbs and feeling really sluggish and having no energy. And here, like, we've had chef prepared meals. Like, Kat's husband is a chef, and he came and cooked us this meal, and it pretty much just covered the whole table. There wasn't, there was a little bit of room for our plates, but the rest of it was just all this beautiful food on the table. I feel like I've really crushed some bad habits this weekend, which is awesome. And I can't believe that we still have, like, not quite 24 hours, but we still have all this work that we're gonna do tonight, and I feel like. I'm so satisfied already. I'm excited. And I just want to point out as well that you've already made thousands of dollars today, but you've literally created a $100,000 launch with that because you're just getting started answering messages. Mm -hmm. And also it's just the first intake. And what did you say? You were going to have 20 people in the first intake and then yeah. the messages started flooding in, which you're still trying to, because I haven't let her answer all the messages because as much as I do I sympathize and I want you to answer your messages and sell to people, but I've also had to make sure that we cover the content that we needed to cover today. So last night I was very firm with the girls. You do not fucking look at your private messages in the morning because once you go down that rabbit hole, then you're in. And the sales are only just beginning, Like this is just the beginning, right? And then on top of that, you've created an entire final sequence. You've fully learned the process of how to sell online and implemented it live. And literally like, okay, we're hustling 24 seven because we are, but like all the stuff you said, right? Walk on the beach, yoga, went to the gym, you didn't mention that. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> two workouts. I should have been bragging right, about that. We went shopping that. and we bought Lululemon stuff. Yeah. I mean, let's actually just focus on the priorities here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I knew Cal was gonna bring it because she's Cal Laterzo, but I'm still like totally blown away by the caliber of the weekend. So yeah, I'm super satisfied and we still have a whole day to go. Hashtag Hustle House has been amazing. Like I had expectations, but I just really wanted to be um, in 
the environment of someone who is you know super high level and successful and um, totally sharing their message authentically and from the heart and someone who's committed to having it all on their terms in every way shape or form and so the attraction for me was to be in that energy and in that environment so that I could actually learn how to elevate myself but to also see I guess something that's been so powerful that is just to see the behind the scenes reality of how Kat creates so much content so fast and just the little ways that she'll be like oh well you know set an intention for this and and if you want more sales tonight well then um you know if you want to set the intention for that then do this little tweak and just the subtle little changes and the um what she's kind of the i guess the beliefs it's she's instilled she's instilled a set of beliefs into us over the past three days that we're now going to take home and they are going to allow us to elevate our lives and our businesses and therefore we are going to continue to impact and lead you know our own revolutions and from here we can only continue to keep stepping up into that the biggest thing for me is that i've been i mean i've followed cat for probably two years now and i've worked with her at a pretty high level before in the past been a massive resistance about what it was that i really really wanted to do and i've accessed aspects of that like what my message was in the past but i just really feel today or this weekend that i've actually found it and that it's just like hit me like a um, a massive flash of lightning that's gone off in my head and it's just sparked this whole um, vision like I can just see all these different aspects of you know what my brand and what my business and um, you know clothing line or you know whatever retreats and workshops and programs and membership sites and everything else that is now actually going to be able to flow from the fact that I know why I'm here and what I'm meant to be empowering um, other women to believe in their, in their lives as well. It feels freeing and it feels, I guess, really liberating and it just, I, I guess like as you said, like I feel like I've been given permission to actually shine and share and go forth and, I don't know, sprinkle my fairy dust or sprinkle my magic or share my magic with the exact right people that resonate with who I am and my story and what I've been through um, and, and get the opportunity to, you know, to, to work with those people as well. You know, another really powerful thing is that I don't care, actually. <laughs> I just don't give a shit about, you know, whether or not you know, people are, think I'm unprofessional or um, whether or not people don't like, you know, my message or what I believe because they're not my right people. And actually what's been interesting, and I think you said this too on the balcony on the first night, is that probably what you'll find is that some of those people will, you know, be like, oh my goodness, you know, that's so awesome, I'm so proud of you. And, the people who I thought would judge me, or the people that I was, you know, afraid of being judged by, that is exactly what's happened. I can't change that, like I can't change who I am at my core and I can't change what I believe about life. I, I don't want to change that, so therefore, you know, I either just have to ignore that or you need to go on your merry way and find somebody else to you know, to follow because clearly I'm not the right person for you. So that's been really awesome. So we got these really cool gift bags. I don't know if I should show you everything because then there might not be any surprises for next time. So really cool. She got all this healthy yet very decadent stuff for us. I think she like made a special trip to Byron Bay and then got her brand new Mercedes flooded just so she could get us some really cool treats, macadamia nuts, 
haven't even had a real look at all this stuff. Uh, soap, more chocolate. And the really cool thing, she chose a book for each of us, which was like addressed specially to us and chosen for us. So that was really beautiful. And then we each got a card. I've really enjoyed my time here. I think it's only been, I got here, what night did I get here? Thursday night, probably about nine o'clock, I think by the time I flew in. So we're only Saturday. So it's probably been like 48 hours. In 48 hours, I've learnt so much. Like I've la launched um, Empowering Young Women. I've learnt to write blog posts. I've learnt to do a call of action and I've done daily posts. I've done my first live stream. I haven't done anything like that. So I've done all of that and more. So I've now learnt and got myself um, the routine of what's expected and what I, what I need to do to get my message out there. So just the way that Kat um, sort of teaches you and to uh, ask you to do do the tasks it's um, it comes from her heart and it's not like it's a job it's not like it's um, something that has to be done it's like yeah let's do this like I've never done anything like this before and it's so new and the unknown which can I suppose be a bit nerve-wracking but it's it's just been really comfortable like time here I've got two beautiful women that are here and we're like nearly 24 7 so the whole thing Kat's just made well me personally feel really really welcome um making espresso martinis and just all the foods coming the flow the help at like Kat can you read this before I send it out I've never done this before and as I said it's just absolutely new for me but yeah just the comfort that you get, the support, it's really good. And Kat's knowledge, it's just unbelievable. Um, making it a lot easier. So I'm gonna go home, like I haven't, we've still got 24 hours, we've still got tonight. I'm gonna leave here tomorrow about three o'clock and I've got so much to learn and still so much to do. I've made money, um, which is really good. And quite a few extra ideas that I'm gonna do in the future when I go back as well. And just, I think, making the decision and getting more clarity. The hardest thing for me was to get the clarity of my message and to know what I really wanted to do. And before I came away, I worked out the clarity. But while I've been here in the house, it's become a lot more, a lot more clearer. And the confidence around it as well, and just being comfortable with it and owning it. But all of that has, it's just so valuable. Like I'm gonna go back, I'm, I am gonna go back a different person and yeah, changed with things that I do and how I do things and my confidence and my self-belief. Funny I say that because that is what I'm teaching the young girls. That's what I'm passionate about and the workshops that I'm going to do. So it all ties around, doesn't it? Yeah, but no, I loved it. So I'm really, really grateful. Thanks, Kat, and um, all the beautiful people and the messages I'm getting. I just feel very, very grateful. So thank you. Bye. It's like blowing my mind in terms of how I can apply this kind of stuff to my books, to my book launches, and mm. just real. it's really like got that spark going of how to think outside the box. Mm. And I already had some of some like couple of random, not a couple, let's face it, a lot, but I had lots of random ideas but I never really did anything with them yeah. because I was like... Yeah, you never like, bring them to life quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and now I think my next book release is, is going to be super different. Obviously, it'll still have all the stuff that I normally do, yeah. but it's going to have so much more stuff. But honestly, mm. if you remember one thing from this whole experience, apart from the extraordinary levels of caffeine and alcohol... If you remember one thing remember that one hour at brunch like that is everything that is the secret to all of your success 
because even like okay it's quite my fucking funnel whatever right there's a million ways to do a funnel yes mine works yes it is freaking simple and easy to put together and we love it because of that but it's not a magical fucking system mm -hmm. do whatever you want right mm -hmm. same thing with i taught you my pre-launch you did the pre-launch it worked straight away mm -hmm. you get the inquiry it works and i fucking swear by the way i do my messaging and selling i remember her saying to me two years ago i want to write and i want to be a best-selling author and then next thing it was like i've quit my job that's it next thing it was like i've made over 100 grand so far on amazon next thing it was harper collins came to me and I have a six-figure book deal. deal. And if anyone's been to Brick from Yoga and been at the front row, then you'll realize, you'll know that um, there's like just a, a wall full of mirrors in Bikram. And it kind of struck me as I spent literally 60 minutes eye to eye with the woman staring in front of me that the only reason that I hadn't been in the front row of Bikram before was because I'd been hiding and been really um, ashamed of actually um, not being good enough to be in the front row of, of Bikram Yoga, but that I didn't actually want to see my reflection um, in the mirror fully. So the last three days I've been at Bikram twice and in the front row every time, and it's been such an eye-opening experience to look face-to-face -face with myself in the mirror and really um, just see myself for who I am and see my body for what it is and being really grateful for it and appreciative of it and really happy with with how i look and my level of health but at the same time still having that little internal um satisfied dissatisfaction that i still want more for myself and that i still want to elevate more and what it really made me realize was that so or everything that we create in life whether it's health or wealth or business or relationships or you know family stuff comes from a choice to step up and be the person that you want to be and i just really realized how much my mindset has changed of course over the years but particularly um just during these past three days as well so it's been super super awesome so yeah, that's what I've been working on. I've launched an eight-week program, Hot, Happy and Healthy, for women who want to go from fat, feeling fat, fatigued and frump, frumpy to feeling awesome in their skin. And I'm super excited about that, which is really cool. And people have been joining and, yeah, it's just amazing to feel that way. This is my second live stream, <laughs> no, so I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Can we move it? I know, it's fine. <laughs> got to get, got to get used to this. Um, it's been around in, the inspirational women like yourself and how far you've come with launching and what what we've actually got done in the three days but at like your level as well and there's so much more that you want to do as well and be and just to watch it and witness it and like i was high-fiving and feeling the energy mm -hmm. because of that and that, that's really good for me to watch awesome. and even the same with you and where you're at and your purpose and mission and just watching it but being around the energy and getting shit done getting it done right yeah. really quickly